So the next coverage metric we want to look at is called path coverage. And path coverage is a little bit different than previous metrics that we've looked at because it cares about how you got to a certain piece of code. So in general, things like statement coverage and branch coverage, and even to a large extent, MCDC coverage and loop coverage, don't really care how you got somewhere as long as you executed the code in such a way that you met the conditions. So path coverage cares how you got somewhere. So let's look at what that means. So a path through a program is a sequence of decisions made by operators in the program. OK, so let's look at the function foo, which takes two parameters, x and y, and does something x times, and does something else once if y is true. So what we're going to try to do is visualize the decisions made by the Python language as it goes through this program. So let's first of all look at the execution if x is 0 and y is true. Range 0 is the empty list, so we're not going to do anything here. And then y is true, we're going to execute something else, and we'll leave. So this is one sequence of decisions we made. We made the decision to execute something zero times and something else once. So now if we come in with x1 and y true, we execute something, we execute something else, and we leave. So this is a separate path through the code because we made a different set of decisions. Now if we execute it a third time with x coming in as two, we're going to go execute something, go back, execute it again, execute something else, and leave. And this again is a distinct path through the code because we made a different set of decisions when we got to branch points in the code. And as x increases in value, we get more and more and more paths. One thing you might ask is, just by changing x, how many paths can we get through the code? The answer is it's unlimited. So you can see that achieving path coverage is going to be impossible for all real code. But what it does is gives us something to think about when we're generating test cases. Because, of course, every possible path through the code might have a distinct behavior. So it is the case that we'd like to test lots of paths through the code. We can't test them all. Now, there's going to be a similar family of paths for y is false. So we're going to get a path where x is 0. So we're going to skip doing something. And we're also not going to execute something else. So we essentially have 2 times infinity paths through this code. And so path coverage is basically an ideal that we'd like to approach if we want to do a good job testing. It's not going to be something that we can actually achieve. So now let's take a really quick quiz on path coverage. So I'm going to write a function here called foo again. And it's going to take three Boolean parameters, x, y, and z. And what the code's going to do is it's going to use each of them as a conditional in a test. So if x is true, we do something. Otherwise, we do nothing here. If y is true, we do something. And if z is true, we do something. And the question I pose you is, how many paths through this code are there? Go ahead and write your answer in the text box. 